special. Just ask it in his name. Because we come by faith, Lord, with faith, Father. And we know that, that that's what you desire, Lord, that we as a little children, Father, we can come before you, trusting you, believing you, that you can supply our needs. That whatever it is that we need, Father, that you are more than able to do it, Lord. And we have come in this place with that expectation, Lord. Because we're going to receive what we expect, Father. Oh, Lord, we are so thankful, like the little child, that he might be maybe hungry, Lord, but when the mother comes, can be the little child with whatever problem that he might have, just in those arms, those everlasting arms, Hallelujah. Lord, we can rest in you, Lord. Lord, and we know that you are protecting us, Father, that you are supplying our needs. Father, we just come in this service unto you. I just surrender myself, Lord. Nothing that I can do, Father. Nothing that I can say. I'm just a limited person, Lord. But we need your presence, your divine presence, Lord, to come down. Me as a man, Lord, I would like to do something to help the, your people, Father, your children. But I cannot do it, Lord. The only thing that I can do is surrender myself, Father. May you be speaking to your children, to every heart, Lord. If there is someone who needs to be encouraged, Father, that that word may come out of this uh, lips of clay, Father. And may you speak in the very specific need, Lord. I commit this service unto you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm so happy to be uh, in the house of the Lord. It's so good to see you, to see my brother back. Hallelujah. I'm so happy. Uh, we really miss you. And uh, uh, we're so glad that you, that you are back. If we can go to the scriptures, we can go to the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 43 and 45. worse than the first. 
even so shall it be also into this wicked generation. We know we're living in the weakest generation that I've ever been. Amen. And the Lord Jesus Christ is teaching us on the demonology. Amen. He's teaching that how those spirits, they are seeking a body. Yes. And many times we're just thinking it's just a regular body, but it could be a church body. Hallelujah. It could be a That's political good. body. That's good. It could be any kind of body. Amen. Because those spirits without a body, they are non effective. Amen. They are powerless. Lord. So they need a body that they can do things. Amen. Uh, may the Lord have blessed you to his word. You may be seated. All right. I would like to go to the book of Revelation, chapter 9. are being here among us. Amen. We know how hell is being created Amen. among us. Amen. We know how this in this age, this is Satan's Eden. Amen. Where, where Satan is the ruler, has been worshipped. And we see how those demons came out of the bottomless pit. But I want you to pay attention to this because it says that to them was given power, but it was commanded them that they should not hurt. The grass. Hallelujah. So even the word is showing, teaching us that the, these demons have boundaries. Amen. That they cannot come and do whatever they want. Hallelujah. They have boundaries. Amen. And that's that's God putting boundary on them. Amen. God, the devil is limited to what he can do or he wants to do. Amen. But God allowed the devil to do things. Amen. Sometimes it's for our own good. Amen. Sometimes bad things happen. It might be a sickness, it That's might right. be a trouble, That's right. but it's for God to put us in a position, Hallelujah. for God to put us in a place yes. that we can recognize Him, yes. that we will know more of Him, yes. that we will know His mercy, Hallelujah. that we will know His love, yes. because we know that He has attributes. Amen. He wants to be a Savior, yes. He wants to be a healer. Hallelujah. Unless you are sick, Amen. you cannot know a healer, but God has allowed you to be in that position yes. so He can show Himself yes. as a healer, Glory. as a Savior, Hallelujah. as a great I am. Yes. Whatever it should mean. I am the supply all your needs. Yes. And God that heals all your needs. He is God. Amen. And He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yeah. How blessed people we Glory. are. Amen. We're going to be shouting. We're going to be rejoicing. Because there is no demon. Yes. There are no any demon. Yes. No matter how many there yes. are, they cannot stop this bride. They cannot touch the bride. They will touch those whose names uh -huh. were not written Amen. in the last book of life. That's right. Oh, my. Good. Those that were not sealed. Those that they don't have the seal. That's right. And we read the scripture how Jesus was teaching us how those demons, those spirits, they are seeking bodies. That's right. And we have been taught how uh, the three stages of grace 
justification, sanctification, and the people has to come to the baptism Amen. of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. That is your seal. Yes. You are sealed until the day of your redemption. Yes. And people, many people, they, as we have been talking about, they, they just go and accept the Lord and they just remain in justification. All right. And that's it. Amen. And, and they, they come and they reach sanctification and they stop there. Amen. Amen. And, and, and Jesus is teaching us and through the prophet in this hour, through the message, Amen. we understand it. We read it many years. Yes. We couldn't understand it, but Amen. the word has been open. Yes. And now we understand. We know demonology. Amen. And we must understand that those events that are happening in this hour. Yes. We know the condition. Amen. We see how Israel is being attacked. Yes. And and if we just read the paper, just like any other person. It will say it's just a political affair. That's you know? right. It's just something that is happening just like oh, any other time. Just a war, you know? All right. Oh, if you see a, a, a young man coming to school and shooting everybody, mm -hmm. you know, it's just a person losing his mind and right. he got a problem. But, but we know that those things are in the Bible. Yes. Amen. We know this is the age. Yes. Amen. We know this is the time. Hallelujah. When you see those things happening, Amen. we recognize our day. We recognize <laughs> our message. Yes. Right. When we see the pillar of fire, Woo. we saw the cloud. We were not just looking things on heaven or Amen. things above a man. Amen. It was showing the scripture. Yeah. It was showing Exodus, Amen. the pillar of fire, how let the children of Israel. Amen. It was showing Revelation 10:1, oh. oh. Revelation 10:7. It was showing us the scripture. Yeah. We know the scripture. And this time those things have been fulfilled. Amen. Yeah. The bottle is being been open. That's right. Hell been open. Yeah. Hell been created among us. Amen. Where those spirits are just chasing bodies. Yeah. Trying to find a place where they can dwell. That's right. Brother, sister, this is a serious time. Amen. Yeah. This is not a church gathering. Hallelujah. This is not social media. Yeah. This is, we know the message came from preparation. Amen. The pillar of fire from vindication. And the token Woo! is for oh! consolation. Oh! And we are here. We are not here just to sit and hear and be entertained. Yeah. We are here being prepared. Yeah. Because it's wartime. Just like in the natural. Israel is being attacked. Amen. The bride in this hour is Woo! being attacked. Oh! But we have a weapon. Oh! We have a victory. Yeah. Before even war was declared, we have the victory. We have overcame. We have the victory. Faith is a victory. So we see those things. And we know it's just not a political, a political affair. It's a spiritual affair. Yes. It is the time. It is the age. This is the time when time is blending with eternity. This is the end time. And we cannot just say, oh, I, I belong to the message of right. Christ. Or oh, I have the picture of the prophet. Uh -huh. Or I just, I, I have the, the eagle belt buckle All and right. I have the eagle pin. And yes. those things, it's just denomination as well. Yes, yes, brother. But you must understand that the message came for, for to show the living God that is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. And the same things that was vindicated in the life of a prophet has to be vindicated in the life of a prophet. And we see how those demons are chasing bodies Amen. and dwell on a person. Amen. And how uh, people, they come and they accept the Lord and they still have that demon there. Amen. And they come unto sanctification. And then the person started to realize the condition Amen. and started to make a decision. Amen. I'm going to stop. Uh, drinking, stop smoking, right. I'm going to change my life. Right. And they are struggling, fighting. And then God um, and come to the come to an atmosphere where the power the word of God cannot be bound and, yeah. and, and those demons comes out of the person. Yes. And that person is start living a clean life. Yeah. And that person starts coming to church That's and start right. praising God yeah. and having a holy life and a clean life yeah. and lives decent life. But that it is not the whole, the, the, the end point or the point That's where right. people have to remain. That's right. Because the war is not only for you to remain in one place. Hallelujah. The war is not only for you to stay there and, and stagger there all yeah. the time. Uh -huh. The war is for you to push you and take you from one side to the other. 
Amen. Amen. To go from glory to glory yes. and continue on walking this path. Right? Amen. So that the condition of that man, that spirit, that vulgar spirit left out of that man, out of that body. But now this man is coming into a church atmosphere and now he's starting having church uh, companion and church fellowship. Right. And, but now he might get a different spirit. Sometimes, Brother Brown said, you look at the church. Many times they receive the spirit of the pastor. That's right. That's right. That's right. And that, that spirit comes to the church, and the church are behaving just like the pastor. Hallelujah. And instead of being the spirit of God. Amen. Right. And, and this is the problem of this age. That's right. This age is a deception age. That's right. The two spirits will be so, so close and will deceive. And, and you see, and it is just a gathering, and people having a clean life, That's and everything right. is good fellowship. But still, they are thinking because they are speaking tongues, they have the Holy Ghost. Yes. Right. Or because they have a sensation, right. they have the Holy Ghost. Amen. And then people are being deceived. Amen. And they think that they already have the Holy Ghost and they can do things. And they can come and have fellowship with whoever they think they want because they think that they have power in them. Right. And they can overcome those things. Yes. But the problem is when they realize that they, they are lacking something yes. that they felt they had, yes. they, they, they will realize that they have been deceived. Yes. Right. But you see, and, and that person is still coming to church, as I was saying, and they have probably a, spirit, a religious spirit in him, yes. and he continues his life on and on. But then when the test comes, it's when the trouble is done. All right. Then, then that's why you see people going back to the world. Go ahead, brother. You see people going, going and start doing things wrong. All right. Because they didn't have the burning bush experience. Yeah. They didn't have the Pentecost experience. Yes. The Holy right. Ghost in them. Yeah. I many preachers they don't preach the Holy Ghost because yeah. they lack that experience. Yeah. Of yeah. Because yeah. they don't have the Holy Ghost. Yeah. They cannot tell the people to have the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. They cannot explain to them. Yeah. Yeah. Because they don't have that consecration. That's good, brother. Because they might project something, but inside there are still something lacking. Amen. Right? Yeah. Or there might be something of the world still there. That's right. And we can see how uh, Lot's wife, they came out of Son of uh, Son Gomorrah. That's right. They came out. Of, they were walking mm -hmm. toward the place, out of the destruction. Mm -hmm. But even though she was out of that place, there was something in that place in her heart. Right. They say like the people of, of uh, uh, the children of Israel coming out of Egypt. They, even though they were out of Egypt, still Egypt was in their heart. Right. And, you see, and they were complaining on the road and they were couldn't grasp good, what right. God was doing on the way. Yeah. But you see, that's what God has to do in this hour Hallelujah. for believers, Man. for for me, for you, for Hallelujah. everybody. We can come into that point, that point of consecration. Lord. To be so sincere. I yeah. said, Lord, if there is something that I'm missing, Hallelujah. if there is something that I'm lacking, Lord. Father, I just want, I want to be ready. Hallelujah. I wanna, uh, Lord, I want to be more sincere. Yes, Lord. I want to walk that path. If there is something against my brother, if there Lord. is something against somebody, yeah. Father, I just want to be real. Hallelujah. I want to be genuine. Amen. Yeah. I know that I'm your child. I know I'm your son. But if there is something in my heart, Hallelujah. remove it. Hallelujah. Take it out of me. Yeah. I want to be sincere. Yeah. I want to come. Man. So we are talking about how this hell is being created among us. Man. And as I was mentioning, I mean, we don't have to be... We, we can see it. Amen. By the grace of God, we can see it yes. because we have eyes self in our eyes, Amen. and we can see the condition of this world. Yes, I, I was so amazed, so touched to hear that news, and and to hear, to see how a young man come to a place and start shooting children. Yes, and and, I, and my wife was telling me said sometimes it's good that we don't we don't have TV that we don't watch those news <laughs> because yes. we That's live good, in a bro. life that we are so just. About the word of God. Hallelujah. And that's what we that's are just preach, feeling. Brother. That's good right. preaching. And we are just separated from that's right. those things. That's right. Because what is what is the devil trying to do? Bring fear to the people. Whoa. That's what the devil is trying to do. Amen. People are going to be fearful. They are afraid to go to the to the to the school. They are afraid right. to, Amen. to to buy groceries. Yeah. They are afraid to do things. Amen. Amen. Because that's a that's the spirit of bondage. That's right. That's what the devil wants to bring fear Amen. to the people. Amen. 
Keisha said, fear no. Oh! are coming out yeah. through that fourth dimension. Uh -huh. And we see how through the TV, and we see how, how even through science, That's you know, right. all science, I, what it's trying to do is just projecting, it's yes. showing, influence people yeah. through the movies and all those yeah. things, That's good bringing you. fear and bringing yeah. fear, those demons upon That's the right. people yeah. where people are just <laughs> losing their minds. That's right. They don't know what to do and That's they right. think they're just listening to music, but they're yeah. being possessed. That music bringing back those demons. Hallelujah! Uh, Amen. And, and they, they don't know, but they are walking under that possession. That's right. Because just as the uh, as a man seeking for the Holy Ghost to be filled with the Amen. Holy Ghost, they don't realize that they are being filled with that anointing. That's right. With that anointing from hell. Hallelujah. And they're being filled with those demons. Amen. And they are just walking, and they think that everything is right. All right. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I heard. This story, I believe the prophet says, said, told about it, but it was how this, this girl, if I recall it right, this girl, how she, she left the world and she was walking and she was uh, continuing on in the faith. Yes. And then how, somehow she, went, she got to a place yeah. and she heard some music. Yeah. Amen. And, and in her memory, she remembered that those that the music he, she used to dance. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then it just happened that then she saw the person that she used to dance with. All right. And then she was moved and, and she was thinking that she she was fine because she had God. All right. So she wanted to testify then. All right. And then she was moved to get close to that person. All right. And and he was there and waiting and he said, Hi, darling. How are you, uh -huh. sweetie? Come on now. You know. And and she she was thinking, you know, I can maybe help him. All right. And uh -huh. and then she said, you know, I accepted God, and and now I, I would like you to, you know, to, to accept God and uh -huh. know about God. And he said, yeah, I would like to know all about God for right. you. And and you know how he started to seduce her. All right. And she's being she being naive. All right. Thinking that trying to help. All right. But this guy. He said he started to, to bring things to memory. So, yeah. You know, remember how we used to dance? All right. How we used to move this and, and the song was playing. Uh -huh. and, and, and she she started to bring those things in her mind. The memory was bringing those things. All right. When she was caught up and she said, she thought and she said, maybe one dance is not bad. All right now. And then she, she was getting close to the dance and then she realized what she was doing and she ran. Uh -huh. And I, I think she, she ran to the, to the prophet and, uh -huh. and the prophet said, uh, and she said, oh, Brother Billy, Brother Billy, please pray for me, uh -huh. pray for me. And, and he said, what, what happened? Uh -huh. What's wrong? And she said, oh no, you have to pray for me, uh -huh. help me, help me. And he said, well, I'm gonna pray for you. Uh -huh. And he said, when well, he was praying, while he was praying, he said that this shadow, like a huge shadow, wow. a shadow came out of her. All right. And it was like, like a big thing, you know, like a explosion thing. Uh -huh. And then she never felt down when he came to her. All right. She, she never realized how that transition, how she was being seduced. All right. That's good, bro. He's seducing his spirit. And sometimes we think that we are trying to help this and Amen. we don't recognize that we are fighting. Yeah. That this is a battle. Hallelujah. That you, you, you are fighting against not only just a, a, a person, 
But it's against demons. Yeah. It's spiritual power. That's good, bro. And unless you have that armor of God, unless you have that seal in you, right. you know how that that man, um, I believe was Simon, tried to cast out the devil. All right, bro. And, and he said, I know Paul. Uh -huh. I know Jesus. Uh -huh. But who are you? That's who are right. you? You, you, you? He was trying to bluff the devil. All right. But the devil was, he's the bluffer. Yeah. He's trying to bluff the devil who's the bluffer. Yeah. But that was the wrong, the wrong anointing. That's right, bro. He was trying to do something when he didn't have it. Yeah. But you see, but the devil knows. He knows who are sealed. Yeah. He knows who are the sons That's of God. Good, right. but, but he knows your power. Amen. He knows what lays in you. Hallelujah. But he's so afraid that he's trying to deceive you. Yeah. Come on now. Trying to put you away from the world. Yeah. He's trying to entertain you with things. Yes. So you can now focus on what God has purpose for your life. Yeah. And then you have a problem and then you start uh, 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 struggling with the problem. Go ahead, bro. When, when you know that it is greater than one that is in you than one that is in the world. Yeah. But you are struggling with that little situation. No way, brother. Because the devil is seducing. Yeah. And we know that the greatest battle is in here. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And we need a thinking mouth filter. Yes. Yeah. And the holy man taste. Amen. And that's what the church needs today. Amen. Yeah. We were talking about consecration. We have been talking about how that book being opened is an inheritance. Amen. Amen. We know that belongs to us. Yeah. But because it means that belongs to us, it doesn't mean that we can just go and fight for it. Yeah. We have to wait. Jesus said, just even wait Glory. until you be endured with power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until the Holy Ghost goes up to you. Yeah, yeah. Because you have to know what is God's plan. Yeah. What is God's purpose. Yeah, that's right. And when you know it's God's plan, when you know it's God's purpose, you will go with it. Glory. And you know you have the authority of the yeah. Lord God in you. Yes. Yeah. But otherwise, you might be getting into trouble. That's right. And how those those men, uh, we were talking about last last time, last Sunday, how uh, Micah, uh, the the, the 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 prophets of Acre, uh -huh. how they came and they said, "Go to the bottle. Yes, that land belonged to you. Yes, it was true. Uh -huh. That land belonged to you. Uh -huh. but, but we know how that vision came and how the spirit of life, one spirit, came upon a body. Yes, a group, prophets, a uh -huh. church, and the and and this spirit of life." Seduced them into battle and they lost and they were persecuted That's and they right. died. Amen. But you see how body it is it is not necessarily just one person. Amen. It can be a group. Amen. And that's what happened with the churches. All right. In the church ages. When Luther came with the light, the judge shall, see, shall live by faith. Amen. And how the life came presented and the people understood and grasped it. Lord. But when Luther came, when Luther left, the people organized. Oh, that's right. And that spirit came upon them. And they were seduced. And they stopped there. Hallelujah. And that's all what they wanted. It's good, brother. They just remained justification. Amen. And, and then how John Wesley came yes. to take them out of that chain that's right. That's right. and bring them to, to, to sanctification. Amen. And the people that their eyes were open, Amen. those names that were there, they accepted the word. All right. And they wrote with that message. Amen. But then, after Wesley left, happened the same thing. Amen. It was, they were moved to that system again. Yes. And you see how that spirit, that's the spirit of a frog, I believe, is just looking to the back. Hallelujah. And they're only looking to the back. Amen. And they say, well, because our father Luther, and Luther explained, but that's not their father Luther. Amen. How the Pharisees said our father Abraham. Amen. But they were not children of Abraham. Amen. You, see, you are of your father the devil. Amen. But you see, they claim something. They're trying to claim something that it is not them. Yeah. You see, and that's the deception. Amen. That's the deception of the age. That's right. And that's what we need to have. That's why we have this message. Amen. Is to remove all. Deception. Hallelujah. And remove all ignorance. Amen. All That's good, sin. brother. I don't want you to be ignorant Amen. concerning the coming of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Good, he was removing all ignorance. Amen. He was removing all among the believers. Yeah. Because they were message churches. Amen. The, the, the Thessalonians was a church of the yes. message yes, right. of that hour. Amen. So we see how that angel uh, came with a key, the science, and bring all hell. I remember the prophet, and we know the story how he was in J.C. Penney. Yes. And how he was so 
that lady, a Hispanic lady, Amen. did that thing, and he thought was sick, but he realized it's the same thing that he saw. Hallelujah. He had Amen. Right. Uh -huh. and, and it was the same thing. Amen. Uh -huh. So every day when we are walking, you have to remember, you are just fighting. Amen. It's a battle. That's right. In every place that you go. Yes. I, I told my wife, even when I go to the grocery store, sometimes I cannot stand it. The pressure is so much. Yes. Yeah. And as I'm like, you know, let's go quickly. Go in. Yeah. Go out. I cannot stay there. That's right. Because people are just immorally trained. Yeah. And That's there are so many, so many things that are perverting our minds. That's right. And we have children. Yeah. So we have to be careful how we do things. Yeah. Uh, because upon our parents, we as a parents, we have a responsibility. That's right. That's true. And that responsibility has given it to us. That's right. So we, we need to know how to handle that. Yeah. yeah. That's so good, praise the Lord for the message of That's the hour. Yeah. Yeah. Because when hell was open, yes. let me tell you, yes, sir. heaven was open. Amen. Just like, just like hell came upon us, All right. a mighty angel huh? descended from heaven. Oh, yeah. oh. It is brought. Many times, some brothers say, but brother, you know, young people, they have a trouble, a hard time. All right. Because they are now in school and how those demons, and we didn't face that. Amen. And I said, but, but brother, just like they are facing those demons, yeah. they have the book open. Hallelujah. They have the mighty God. Yes. They have the living God. Yeah. When I was growing, I walked in part knowledge. Yeah. I, I tell you the truth, I was blind. That's right. But still, he was God, the same God. Amen. Amen. A, a, a little servant like me. Mm -hmm. But now in this hour, these children, yes. that they have the book open, that they know that angel came down. Hallelujah. That there is a ministry of angels. Yeah. That they have power Amen. to overcome Amen. this thing. Oh, brother. Amen. You shouldn't be concerned about them. Whoa. You shouldn't be concerned or worried about them. Yeah. Because they have a the mighty conqueror. Hallelujah. They have a mighty God. A mighty God. Amen. Vindicated in this hour. Yeah. Even signs prove it. Yeah. Said this is real. The eye, the, the, the mechanical eye. Has, has, has proven to That's us. Right. It's real. That's right. Amen. And yet people reject it. Amen. But you, as a young man, you know that's real. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And that the same pillar of fire that was in the Exodus is now here. Whoa. Whoa. In this third Exodus. Whoa. It's the same God. Yeah. So you, you shouldn't be concerned about that. Right. You shouldn't be worried about that. Yeah. Right. Just remove that worriness out of you. Yeah. Remove that fear out of you. Yes. Because they have a living God. Hallelujah. The same God that was with Jericho. The same God that was with Abraham. Yeah. The same God that was with Samson. Woo. The same God that was with Peter. Yeah. The same God that was with Brother Brian. Yeah. It's the same God that is with your children. Yeah. It's the same God that must be you. Yeah. It's the same God that is in me. Hallelujah. It is not only for the pastor. Yes. It is not only for the deacon. Yeah. It is for everyone. As many as the Lord shall fall. Yeah. It's for you. It's for your children. Right. It's for whoever Amen. the Lord calls. Lord. So Amen. don't be concerned. Let us Amen. remove all that fear. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Good brother. Thank you, Jesus. I want to go to Revelation 20. Mm. a little message. Revelation 20. Right. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit, and a great change in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, abound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up and set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years should be fulfilled, and after that he must be loose a little season. So we see now this angel in Revelation 20. All right. And I, I want you to uh, pay attention. The angel came down from heaven, having a key of the bottomless pit, mm -hmm. and a great chain in his hand. All right. And now a key is to open. All right, go ahead, brother. And a chain is to bound. That's All right. right, go ahead. So that angel had the power to open 
and to bow. All right. Yeah. And we see how this angel, this angel had those that power. And this angel, well, let me let me tell you first this revelation. We know it is the harvest. All right. We know that all that is in Revelation had a beginning. Amen. And everything goes in Genesis. Yes. And everything through Genesis goes into Revelation. All right. Genesis seed. In Genesis you will see the seed. Yes. In harvest you see the fulfillment. Amen. You see the harvest and no the, the, the end. So we see how this angel came. And he had the power to bind and to lose. And he had a chain in his hand. So he was going to chain this devil, this dragon, the serpent. And we know the fulfillment, it will come. Amen. But we're talking about the spiritually now. Because this angel is the same angel that came down with the book of it. Glory. And we know the book is a key. Amen. And we know the chain, it is not a literal chain. Amen. It's a circumstantial That's chain. right. That's right. Because... He has nothing that he can use Amen. to do what he used to do. Amen. That's good, brother. You see? Hallelujah. So, but if you see in the beginning how the serpent, how that angel came and used the serpent to deceive the woman. Yes. And how the, the man said, and, and when God came down, he, he found naked. Uh -huh. And, and he, he tried to cover himself. Uh -huh. and not covering his religion. Yes. And how God said, you did this, and he said, no, the, the what? The, the woman. Uh -huh. And the woman said, no, the serpent. Uh -huh. And how God put that curse upon the, the serpent. Yes, sir. And from the, the being that he was, he lost his hand. Yes, sir. He lost his leg. Yes. And he came in at a lower a level of Amen. what he was before. Yeah. Yes. So, and he was, it was uh, pronounced a prophecy. Yes. That his head was going to be crushed. Yes. And, and you see how in the beginning showing how that serpent, how it was cursed, and he was put in a position that he didn't have hand to touch Amen. something. Amen. He didn't have leg to walk. Yes. But now he had to do things in a different way. Amen. You see, trying to hide always. All right. And through all these ages, always trying to hide. Amen. Behind the white horse rider. Amen. Behind the red, the Lord. black, and the pale. Amen. Trying to hide. Yes. But upon all this time, God always had always to fight it. Amen. And he got the, the lion. Right. He had the man. He had the ox. He got the man. And now we got the, he got the eagle. All right. But the point that I want you to see is that the same angel, that same angel that had the book, uh -huh. is the same angel that had the key yes. and the chain. Yes. It's the same God. Amen. And, and it was not a key and a chain. It was a book. Amen. This is the book. That's good, brother. But what I'm trying to tell you is how God, that power that he had to put the devil, that serpent, in a position that he was not able to literally mingle with the man again. Amen. He put it in a position that he couldn't put another seat upon it. He yes. just was king. Amen. But now he got in a lower position, lower Amen. level. Yes. And now here we see how this angel is coming to tie and bound that Satan, All that right. dragon. And now Satan is going to be powerless. Amen. Because there is nothing that he can do because now he's bound. Hallelujah. Because the, this this uh, man, this angel has the power to tie him. Yes. And and the angel is God. Yes. Yes. And this God, it, it is no in the prophet. Alright. It is no right now with the with the apostle. Alright. Where is this God? Where are He's in the bride. Alright. So what I'm trying to tell you is Where that he's bride. Because we see the book is open, Amen. and the book was given to John, uh -huh. and John, what he did with the book? Amen. He ate it. Yeah. And that word now is in the bride. Amen. The book now is in the bride. Yeah. The chain now is in the bride. Right. The key is now in the bride. Amen. She got the power. Hallelujah. And now, because she got the power, she had the power to bound that right. dragon Amen. and cast it out. Amen. What I'm trying to tell you, brother, is what God has done in this hour, Amen. has given you the power. Hallelujah. When you have power upon this earth, Woo. where Satan cannot control the Hallelujah. earth, when you can abound Satan in yeah. such a way yes. that the, the demons will come out, yeah. the cripple will heal, yes. the sickness will come out, the blind will see. Yeah. It's, it's God. Yeah. But now, 
It is in, in the Quran. All right. Amen. We see it. Now open among us. All right. Jesus Christ dwelling in the bride. Amen. That mighty angel that descended with the book. Yes. That book was the key. Amen. That book was that what he can do. Whatever a person who eat that book can open, can bow. Uh -huh. Let me give you a scripture. Go ahead, go ahead. Let me give you a scripture because I don't want to. Let's go to Matthew 18. 18, 18, 9. It's the same power Amen. given to the Alpha Church. Glory. Matthew chapter 18, verse 18. Um. <laughs> Verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth, shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you shall lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Again I said unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. Amen. For where two or three gather together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Amen. What it was? It was a power given to us. Yeah. Where we can tie the devil. If you see the devil coming to your house, Woo! if you see the devil trying to harm your children, right. if you see the devil trying to attack you in your place of work, yeah. you have the power. Amen. You have bind that devil. Yeah. You have grabbed the devil and say, get out of this yeah. place. Get out of my life. Yeah. Get out of my family. Yeah. Get out of my children. Yeah. And go to dry places yeah. and never come back again. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what it is given to us. But now, a person might be sick. Coming to be prayed. The church pray. The person is delivered. Lord. And the house is clean. Amen. But if the house remains clean and it has the, 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 the Jesus said, the devil will say spirit, that demon will say, I will return to my house. Yes. The, that demon think that's your that's his house. All right. But you know whose house is this. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the owner of the house must dwell in there. Glory. Because that demon think that that belongs to him. Amen. But you have to understand that he will come back. Amen. That demon will come back. That's right. And he, he will always come back. And always try to test. And always try to fight. Yes. But you must have the owner in the house. Amen. What I'm trying to tell you. You must be sealed with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. You must have the Holy Ghost. Yeah. You must run to the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That is the rest. Yeah. That is our peace. That's good. That is our seal. Yeah. That's what we need. Amen. That's what we, the Church of the Living God need. Is the baptism of the Holy yeah. Ghost. Amen. Why so many so many differences? That's right. Why so many arguments? Amen. Because there is a lack of the Holy Ghost. That's good, bro. Because if the Holy Ghost will be there, Hallelujah. there is peace. Yeah. There is joy. Yeah. There is love. Yeah. There is patience. Hallelujah. But why so much friction? Mm -hmm. Because there is a lack of the Holy That's Ghost. That's good, brother. That's good. Mm. In the message of hidden life in Christ, Brother Abraham said, you are scared. People today is afraid. What are you afraid of? Why even death itself mm. don't scare a Christian? Mm. Death, where is thy sting? The very thoughts of people is scared. Oh, Brother Brian, the doctor told me, I just can't get well. Where are you scared of? There is an atonement laying for you yonder. Hallelujah. Sure. Well, Brother Brian, I've done so much sin. Where are you scared of? There is an atonement waiting for you. There is someone who loves you. Don't be scared. The constant word of Jesus, fear not. I am he that was dead and is alive again and alive forever. Fear not. Get that atmosphere around you. Get the atmosphere. Now he's Methodist, he's oneness, he's Trinitarian, he's this and that. Get, get that out of your mind. I love him, he's my brother. 
she's Catholic, she's Protestant, she is, get that out of your mind. Get an atmosphere around you. You will never do it standing out on this other court. Amen. You got to come into Christ first, live in his presence. The Bible said, he that overcometh, I will give him a new name. I will put my spirit in him. What? There is an overcoming first. You got to overcome these things in order to be in Christ. Amen. There's where the church is failing in one place. Overcoming. Overcoming temperance. Overcoming temper, Hallelujah. overcoming difference, Good overcoming church prejudice, yeah. overcoming hatred. Lord. Many people tonight who shout, speak with tongues, run up and down the aisle, hate the neighbor. The neighbor. Thou has, brother, brother, you are lost yet. Man. That's hard to say, but that's the truth. Right. Overcome. You can only overcome when you, you say, I'm eating manna. Glory to God. Yes, but look what happens from one day to the other. Uh, you get the mis meal cramps. Uh, Come on in where the man is fresh all the time. Uh, Whether your neighbor treats you right or not, uh, you love him anyhow. Yeah. That's right. Whether he agrees with you or not, yeah. you love him anyhow. Yeah. That's the way you got to do it. That's the hidden life. Yeah. That's the consecrated life. Uh, That's the life that veils of the world. Uh, yeah. And you are shut out from the things of the world. Mm. You only live in Christ. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean, church? I don't want to hurt your feelings. But I got to stand with you at judgment someday. Mm -hmm. I'm responsible mm -hmm. for not telling the truth. If I know it, that's right. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And we see, that's what Brother Brown was saying. He was telling the church. He preached the message how to overcome. Hallelujah. And he started to teach the church, the Pentecostals, about the age that they were living, Amen. the things that were happening, how the war was being fulfilled. Amen. And, and they, as I was saying, they had signs to prove that it was the truth. Lord. But they rejected. Amen. And they decided they, they decide to turn their backs and walk away from it. Yes. Walk away from the truth. Man. So if you walk away from the truth, you walk into life, darkness, that spirit of life. You go away to the world. Right. How are you expecting to go with God if you are walking away from the truth? Yeah. Good, and right. the truth shall set you free. Yeah. And the truth is Christ. Yeah. It's the word. All right. You have to keep the word. Yeah. We see this age that we're living in. How, how can I overcome? It's one of the grandest age of all ages. This Laodicea church age is the grandest of all the church ages. Because it is the ending of time and the blending of eternity. And then it's the greatest sinful age. It's more sin in this age than there's ever been. Amen. And the powers of Satan is many times harder to fight against that. It was in any age. See? Back here in early ages, a Christian could for his profession of in a church, of belonging to Christ, could be beheaded for it. He could be killed and put out his misery and go to meet God quickly. But now the enemy has come in, in the name of the church, and is so deceiving. This is the great of age of deception. When Christ said so, the two spirits will be so close in the, that in the last days, he will deceive the very elect if it was possible. See? Remember, Christ spoke of an elected people for the last day. He will deceive the very elected if it were possible. So close. The people so, so live, people can live clean, holy life, not be sinful, adulterers, and drinkers, liars, gamblers. They can live above all that and still not with it. Ah, that's right. This is the age of life, personal life of Christ, ah. where the chemical of his body, what was in him, first under justification, water baptism, second under new birth, of Wesley sanctification, which cleans, and thirdly under the baptism of the Holy Ghost, Putting that sanctified vessel into service. Oh. See, the word sanctified means it's a compound Greek word, which means clean and set aside for yes. service. Mm -hmm. 
set aside for service. So he said, now, this is the age of a personal life of Christ. Glory. And we see how these demons have come out. And they are attacking the bride. Yes. But they, they cannot attack. They can they, they cannot they can they can do things just what God allowed them to do. That's right. So so that's why it is necessary. It says those that didn't have the seal of God. And we can see how in the Exodus, how the prophet came and talked to the people and in the last time in the last hour play, how they had to have the token, yes, the blood. And how the, the death was coming upon all the firstborn. All right. But the death didn't touch them because they have the blood. Yeah. And we know blood is just a chemical. Mm -hmm. Talking about the spirit in this hour. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit in the bride. Mm -hmm. Now how the devil can come. They can fight you. They can uh, uh, do whatever they, they try to. But it will not prevail. Yeah. Yeah. What I'm telling you this, uh, this morning, brother and sister. That we have overcome. Hallelujah. We have been predestinated to overcome. Amen. And, and we have that victory. Mm -hmm. Whatever trials will come, whatever problem will come, yes. you can have something. You can have the assurance. You can have the peace of mind that whatever will come to your side, you will overcome that. Yeah. Because greater is he that is in you. Amen. Brother Abraham mentioned a few things. I see it. And I'm going to just go quickly because of time. But he said, the thing you have to overcome first is yourself, oh, your idea, Hallelujah. your thing. Yes, Surrender yourself to Him. Amen. He overcome for you. Amen. He knows. He knows the way we don't. That's Amen. Right. But be sincere. It's all. I'm just reading a few parts. It's all that is under the shed blood is overcomers. Because you cannot overcome yourself. Is He? That overcome for you. Hallelujah. And you are resting. Amen. Amen. He that cometh to God first must be tested. Lord. Those that were elected, they overcome. Mm -hmm. He that come to God must be tested. I'm talking now about humility. Genuine humility. Not something is put on. Something that is that's real humility. And you overcome means to stand the test. That's right. Like all the old saints did. And in the presence of death, he defeated. Talking about Jesus Christ. He overcome death. In the presence of hell, he defeated hell. And overcome hell. Yes, in the presence of grave, he overcame grave. Why? All by the word and humility. Oh my, there is the real man. There is one to make your example. He he defeated everything. Lord. He overcame it. Lord. Temptation. Everything. By what? By the word. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is the word of God. Jesus Christ. The book. In you. In the bride. Amen. John. 1 John 5 4. For, who has, for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory Amen. that overcometh the world, even our faith. Amen. Who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believed that Jesus is the Son of God. In the, Ephesians, um, in, the, in the church of Ephesus, Revelation 2, 7. He that had an ear, let me hear that the Spirit said unto the churches. To him that overcometh, will I give to him the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise. In Smyrna, he that overcometh. Pergamos, he that overcometh. Mm. Tathara, he that overcometh. Hallelujah. Sardis, he that overcometh. Mm. Laodicea, he that overcometh, Revelation 21, 7, he that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Amen. What I'm telling you, brother and sister, this morning, hell has been created. It is a battle. We, we have, we're fighting every day. Yeah. We can have that, we can see it through everywhere. Uh, wherever you go, you, you name a place, you will see it. That's, That's the devil fighting. Yeah. Even at home some, sometimes, even at work, you can see it anywhere. But God has given us the power to overcome. Amen. The living God, the word of God has given you the power 
to speak to that mountain, to call that demon and cast it out. Glory. And that's the, the, the binding of that red dragon. He cannot hide from you. We have identified him. We know who he is. Hallelujah. We know who are we fighting with. Amen. But we know that we got the victory. Hallelujah. The victory has given to us. Yes. And this hour, there is a group of people that they are not going to be deceived. Right. Because the, spirit, the two spirits will be so close that we'll deceive the very elect if it was possible. Right. But it is not possible. Amen. For this group in this morning, it is not possible to be deceived. Amen. Because you were elect when God called you. That God called you to perfection. God called you to see you as at the end result. Amen. He didn't call you just to, for you to remain justification. Amen. He didn't call you just for you to stay in sanctification. When he called you, he called you and predestinated you Amen. to be a son of God. Amen. To live in the fullness. Amen. To be clear, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever in your life. Amen. It is for you. Amen. And it is for me. Amen. As many as the Lord shall call. Amen. Amen. Let us stand. Glory. And let us, uh, we can close our eyes. And we know that the time, we know the hour, we know the conditions. And there is a requirement for as we have been speaking these days, God is calling us to consecration, to be sincere, to be to get closer to Him. Whatever it is, that it is that many times we don't even know, but God knows. God, God knows, and, and sometimes even the prophet said he was waiting for the angel of the Lord come, and he said, "Father, if I said something out of place, something that I did that I can realize." But we need your presence. And that's what we're going to do this morning. Uh, let us pray. Beloved Heavenly Father, we just bow our heads before you, Father, knowing that you are here in our midst, Lord. Knowing that you have called us to that consecration, Father. That you want us, you have called us to be separate from the world, separate from things of the world. Father, if there is there has been something in our means, maybe seen or something that we have done uh, unintentional, Father, or, or something that we did wrong, Father, and it was not pleasing to you, Lord. We ask you to forgive, Father. Forgive our sins, trespasses, Lord. We ask you, Lord, that may you come and dwell in our hearts, Lord, that we want that closer walk with you. We just surrender everything to you, Father. We want to we know that this hour is so late, Father, that we're just expecting that that change of body, Lord. And we want to be there, Father. Oh Lord, the, the days, the the, the, the the all the events that are happening. We we have been warned by the by the prophet. We know that those Mother events were clear by prophecy, Father, and we are just living in this moment, Lord. We, Father, ask you that may be your Holy Spirit, Lord. Nothing that I can do, Father, if there is my brother that is sick, I, 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 could, I wish I could do something, Father, but unless you intervene, Father, unless your divine presence come down, unless you come and remove all fear, remove all pain, all headache, all whatever it is, Father, all doubt, Father, remove all unbelief from among us, Lord, because we know that you have called us to this world. We know that you have called us to be that super race, Father, and we are living it, Lord. We believe it, Father, and we are just walking into that fulfillment, Lord. We believe it, Father, that many things will be done among us, Father. I want to ask you, Lord, to bless every person that has come here, Father. Make the effort to come. Bless Brother uh, brother Paul that is here, his family, Father. Amen. Bless Brother uh, Calvin, Lord, the effort that he makes, traveling, Lord. Uh, but we know something, Father. Bless Sister Joyce, bless Brother Marcel, Brother uh, Fofo Jr., Father. Bless their homes. Father, we know that all the effort that we make, Father, we know that something that it is not in vain, Lord. Amen. We know that this is not in vain, Father. Father, we know that, that we, we can 
there, there are so many things that they would like us to do in this hour, Lord, but we have come to worship you. Hallelujah. We have come to hear you because we know that this message is our preparation, Hallelujah. Father. And we are going to vindicate it. You are vindicating this message in our lives, Father. Oh, Father, and that token, Lord, is now being displayed. We are just walking, Father, at the rhythm of the symphony, Lord, marching onward, Christian soldier, going to that goal, Father, walking the way that you have called us, Lord. Father, we commit uh, these brothers, your children, Lord. I commit myself unto you, Father. May you bless us along the week, Father. May you be protecting us, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How many love the Lord Jesus? Oh, you shall go by the blood of the Lamb and the word of God and the Exactly your Hallelujah. word. And we want to go by your word because you said in thy word, Lord, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. Hallelujah. And we want to continue with the word because it is the light of the world. We want to thank you, Lord, for such a message that has preached in this place. And we want to believe, O oh God. Because you said all things are possible to them that believe. Hallelujah. It is honorable belief all things are possible. And we want to believe, Lord, for everything that you have called us, Lord, to believe, Lord. Because we came here to believe. Hallelujah. That's why we came from Hallelujah. home. We came here to believe, Lord. That's why we are praising and we are worshiping, Lord. Because we are believing you, Lord. That is why we drove through the roads to come to this place because we love you Lord we because we are your children oh God that's why we are here Lord and like children Lord as we come into your presence Lord we feel protected Lord we feel that there's nobody greater than you we feel that there's nobody that is stronger or more powerful than you that we know that you are the strongest you are the most powerful all things are possible uh, to you we know that your heart is not short that it cannot save we know that there is nothing too hard for you we know that there is no question lord that is too hard for you to answer lord you 
you are greater than our questions, Lord. You are greater than all our problems. You are greater than all our temptations, Lord. You are greater than anything that we can think of, Lord. Whatever we are going through, you are greater than that, Lord. And therefore, we have that hope. We have the confidence, Lord that we are in the presence of the living God. And Father, as we are in your presence, we feel confident, Lord, that everything is okay. Because if we are in the presence of our Father, we know that you love us. And we know that your love, O oh God, my Father, goes beyond any understanding, Lord. For greater man, no man has than this, that one should lay his life down for his own, for his friends. Thank you, Lord, because we are your children, because we are your friends, because we are the work of your own hands, Lord. Amen. Father, we thank you and we praise you, Lord. Thank you for every sacrifice that has been made by each and every one of us. We know that it is not in vain. We know that there will be a blessing that go together with this kind of sacrifice, Lord. We thank you and we praise you. We commend this fellowship, Lord, into your own hands just once more. Help us to consecrate to our, 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 ourselves, Lord, each and every one of us individually, Lord, because you have called us to consecration, Lord. You have called us to a closer walk with you, and we have come to that closer walk with you. We thank you and we praise you. Thank you, Lord, for each and every one of us. And the time has come for us to disperse. The time has come for us to go back home where we had come from, Lord. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that the, your presence, Lord, will continue being with each and every one of us, Lord. And if anything happens, Lord, through the week, somewhere through the week, that we are going to whisper the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus Christ, and every and we know that every mountain will go away, and we know that everything is going to obey the name of Jesus because it is the name that is above every name. We thank you, Lord, for that great name and a wonderful one, Lord. As we will be going home, Lord, as we will be driving, Lord, let your presence, Lord, be felt in that car as we will be driving back home. And we thank you, Lord, because that we know that your presence will continue being with us. We thank you. We praise you. We commit everything into our own hands, Lord. Lord, when you bring us back again on Sunday, Lord, we again will thank you and we praise you and we will worship you, Lord. Keep us in faith. Keep us standing on the word of God because we are asking these things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. Amen.